hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Winnie Fred if it's your first time watching any of my videos in this video I'm going to be talking about the books I plan on reading in 2022 if you watch my video on building better habits I think that's like the title I can't remember I'm going to link it right here or here um, I talked about how I've been trying to read more I never this is someone that I'm a newbie okay I never used to I used to try to read I've always been on this journey but now I feel like I have a better system in place for me to improve my reading for someone that is just getting into this I don't want to overwhelm myself so I have about seven books for the year that I'm actually really interested in getting through so yeah I just felt like it would be nice to show you guys for someone that does not read <laughs> and the first book on my list is atomic habits everyone raved about this book for a long time on youtube and i think for me this year like a, a huge thing was like or a huge thing is habits like i'm trying to like just improve my habits and my routine and i felt like i wanted to just get into it and i really love this book i have i i read it in january or in february one or the other <laughs> and i have created like i have so many areas that i've like highlighted and all of that it's so good and one thing i love about this book is that it's not you know the generic self-help i think was very practical like the things the examples that he gave um and i like how it was more encouraging than like oh get your ass up and do anything it's, it's more like giving you giving you um examples of systems that you can put in place to you know just enable yourself to make better decisions for yourself so yeah i really like this book i'm going to read it again hopefully but i think this is something that you read but then you should go through you know occasionally to just remind yourself of like the tips that he you know explained here and when i mean here i mean james clear so yeah that's the first one on my list the second book on my list is managing emotions by joyce mayer she's a christian also and a preacher if you are familiar with her or if you are not um i you can see i'm currently reading this is what i'm currently reading i have like markers right here so um i'm really enjoying the book so far like i like that there are references to like verses and you know just reminding you of the power that god has over your life and how we should lean more lean more on the holy spirit in terms of like our emotions but one thing i wish that christian books should would talk on and just touch on is just the importance of psychology and therapy and all of that in the midst of you know managing your emotions and also like praying like it's also important that we also seek help that is available to us um because i i do think that god has blessed a lot of people with the ability to understand what people are going through and it's be nice to talk about them talk to those kind of people so i'm just in the middle i've not gone through it so i'm not going to say like she didn't touch on psychology in any aspect but so far there's not been any talk on psychology which i just feel like you know it's all, it has just been like you know ask the holy spirit for help which i agree like this spirit can the holy spirit will help you and also guide you in in like the steps that you need to take i don't know it's, it's like a lot of you know you have to push yourself and you have to be willing and you have to be intentional but it's like some people struggle in terms of that understanding of what intentionality means in that in that struggle so um yeah i like that she she explained certain things that she went through managing emotions is something that is important to me so i'm trying to just you know educate myself a little bit more so and also it's important I'm, I'm a christian so it's important for me to just educate myself from a christian perspective as well so yeah so far i'm going to actually go through and finish but that's my review mini review <laughs> i don't think i'll ever do a review but like yeah next i have is a fictional book by emily henry it's called the people who meet on vacation i bought this when i was coming from canada last year and i was going to read it when <laughs> on my way to mexico i don't know i didn't read it i didn't start but i'm going to start this year hopefully i've seen a lot of good reviews about this book but also for me it's not every time serious not every time personal de development it's not every time i want to learn about money i sometimes i just want to chill okay and i feel like reading books fictional books can really improve your interest in reading if you've not been a reader for a very long time so i want to kind of just immerse myself in stories and that's something that you know i feel like this book has cute the next book i have on my list is the alchemist it's by polo colho <laughs> and if i'm pronouncing that right i've heard so many good things about this book um i think you know it's self improvement but i try to i like to call it personal development books and i haven't read it but i don't know like i don't know what i'm supposed to be expecting from here but like it has so many good reviews so yeah the next book i have is what happened to you by 
oh gosh this is not what it looks like it has like a cover i'm currently reading this book i'm reading it at the same time as i'm reading this one <laughs> so i'm just oh so it's such is actually like a slow read um i don't i'm not sure when i'm going to be able to go through it but one thing i love about this book is like it's like a conversation you know it is a conversation and they're just expressing you know like having a conversation and you're going through different people's stories and trauma and the importance or the impact of trauma in our lives and all of that so far i love the conversations i love it so much and i cannot wait to just like go through it like I, I cannot wait i'm just going through it slowly because it's a lot when you when you deal with like trauma and all these things can be a bit triggering so you want to take your time okay so that's what i've been doing but so far so good next i have is how to win friends and influence people okay so backstory here i've had this book for <laughs> i can't remember i think i've had it for about five years and i've never like i started it but i've always been struggling like you can see here like I actually started reading it but like just struggling to go through this book <laughs> it's been a struggle everyone says it's such a good book like i've seen so many good reviews about it but like i feel like i don't relate i don't know how to explain it i don't know how to explain it but i want to go through it because i mean for a book to have such good reviews then that means there's something here so i want to try and just like read through and see but like i don't know so if i if i start again and i don't understand what's going on here i'll probably just listen to like a summary of it i actually talked to a friend and he was like this is one of the best book he has ever best books he has ever read and i'm just like am i am i dull or there's something wrong with me <laughs> because I'm not understanding it like it's not making any sense to me I think boring is the word maybe I'm not just you know so anyway I'm going to try this book again that's why it's on my list <laughs> next book I have is common sense on the little book of common sense on investing when I I think I found this on TikTok. yes they were talking about like the best books for investing and learning more about investment and um, this book was recommended so I tried to go for it honestly I find investing very scary <laughs> I don't even know why but I find it very scary I'm currently trying to improve my knowledge on investing so I decided to go for this book next book I have is zero to one I've heard so many good things about this book there's this blogger I follow Lola AKW I think that's her name she has talked about this book so many times she says it's an amazing book she loves it so I decided to go for it I don't have anything to say about it this is just a book on my list okay I don't know if it's a great book but I a lot of people recommend this book so I want to go through it and see if I like it or not or learn a few things from here next book I have is driven by eternity by John Bever 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 I don't know how to pronounce his name so I'm sorry if I'm messing it up I'm so sorry um this is also a preacher and a Christian book um, um this is just on my list the last book I have is an autobiography I think I'm not really sure but it's called from the ashes by Jesse Thistle I don't know if I want to read an autobiography I don't know why but I think I thought it was like a like a fictional book and I don't know but anyway, maybe it mess myself with another person's story. It might be interesting. I might it might be inspiring. But I did see some good reviews about this, so yeah, I guess it's a good option. I'll go for it. In total, I have so I know I said I have about seven books, but I actually have nine books. <laughs> nine books this year um I, to be fair i finished one i have six books left to go through for the year um it's not a lot i'm sure some people read 15 books a month this is so new to me so i'm trying to ease into things and i don't know if i will ever be a person that reads 15 books a month like i don't know that that's a goal that i want to have in my life because i do enjoy watching things and i do i learn a lot when i watch stuff so it's not like a thing where i'm trying to change what i enjoy do you get what i mean but like i want to also just improve how i read i feel like it helps me in terms of like when i'm writing scripts or anything like that or like just trying to improve like my grammar so that's that's something so i i don't know this is so different from like what i've ever done but if you guys enjoyed this video please let me know give it a thumbs up and you know leave a comment let me know what books you're going to be reading this year or what your favorite books are and if you've read any of the books i mentioned what do you think what do you think i should go for next you know what i mean if you're not subscribed please subscribe to this channel i really share really nice content if i do say so myself <laughs> and yeah i'll see you guys soon bye